Hi everyone, so it's um, craft today, and again, a bit late, um, apologies for that. Um, everything's a little bit crazy, but we're, we're keeping up with it, it's all good. So we're gonna make an origami cat today, um, and I thought it'd be a really, it's quite simple, but I thought it'd be a really good thing to have a go at. So again, a bit like before, have a go, and let me know what you think, okay? Okay, so I've got two squares just in case. So you start with, you start with your squared paper like you did before, um, and we've got a Sharpie as well. So we're gonna have a Sharpie doing it too. So you start with your squared paper and you just go from corner to corner to get a nice crisp diagonal, okay? So corner to corner. And what we're gonna do is we are just gonna make that nice and crisp and we're gonna put that corner there down to there. Okay. Exactly the same with that one. So I'm going to go from that corner down to there. Okay. So, I've got what looks like a perfect square at the moment. What we're going to do now is we're going to create some ears. To do that, I'm just going to go up from that corner. And as long as there's no sort of hard and fast rule for this, I'm just going to hit that corner a little bit better. There's no hard and fast rule for this as to where you go from. Just make sure that the two bits where they meet are the same. And again, I'm going to make sure that that is absolutely bang on in the corner. Give that a nice smooth. So, what we're going to do then, I'm just going to fold that bit down. Doesn't matter if it doesn't meet perfectly. Okay. So, we end up with this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to fold this bit, just one half, up, get a bit of a folded line, and then fold it back down again. Okay, then what we're going to do, we're going to try and tuck one half of that right up as to sort of about there. Okay, then we're going to turn it around. I'm going to fold Part of this up. Remember, you can go slowly, you can pause it after each stage if you need to. I'm going to fold that down. And then I'm going to fold this down to here. And you should be able to see it really taking shape now. What we're going to do then, just to tidy it up a little bit, we're going to fold just part of each side in. Because what it does when you turn it round, then it creates a really lovely crisp edge for your cat. Okay, so you fold it in, and then look. You've got yourself an origami cat. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put some eyes on him. I'm going to colour in his nose. And then I'm going to put some whiskers on him and I'm going to give him a cute little mouth. You could if you wanted to as well, look, you could often do what cats do here. You could put in his ears too. Okay, so you've got an origami cat. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through that one more time just because I know that when I'm following these videos as well they are quite quick so I'm just going to go through it one more time because it might be that actually that might help you out a little bit so here we go just let's get me back onto this so can you remember what you did you did a perfect triangle now I think when I've made my square I don't think my square is very accurate it is really important to make sure that the square that you make for your origami is really, really accurate. I think I'm slightly over on one side. It doesn't matter, and it won't make any difference to actually what you do with your cat. So make a nice crisp edge, and then if you remember, what we did is we folded one corner up to the top, and we gave a nice crisp finish on that. Then, you remember, we did the same again with the other bit. So I'm going to do exactly the same down to the corner again. And sometimes the paper gets a little bit folded inside, but that doesn't matter. As you can see, that other version that I did, it turned out okay. 
So, I'm going to wait for the lady on the video to catch up. I can feel that that's a little bit funny, isn't it? Yeah, the lady on the video. Come on, lady on the video. She's very slow folding her triangles. That's the only bit I can remember up to there. And I think we fold our ears up, don't we? We fold our ears up from here, I think. So, from about there is fine. And again, you want it from that corner. So from that corner, we're going to fold up. And again, as long as it's from this corner here, it's fine, as long as they kind of meet so that the ears look even. Okay. And you've got two ears. All right. Then, if you remember, you just tuck this bit down. And can you see that this bit actually fits a little bit better than the other one did, but it doesn't matter. You're just going to end up with a slightly smaller bit at the top of there, which is fine. So you folded that bit down. Then you're going to take one of these bits and you're going to just fold it up. Okay. So you want to fold it up to where the E is joined roughly. And then what we're going to do, this gives us just a little bit easier just to fold it inside. I'm going to tuck it in, tuck it in, tuck it in. And then I reckon about there, and then fold. And then we're going to turn it around. And then we're going to fold up this one. I think the reason for that last bit where you tuck it in is just to hide it so you don't see it once you've made your nose and so on. And then fold that bit down so you've got your nose. Now if you remember this bit, this is just to tidy things up a bit. So we're going to fold one half of the cat's head. And the other half of the cat's head, so I hope my hand is in view. And then turn it round, and this one's got slightly pointy ears. So again, I can give him and do it slightly different this time. Okay, so put your eyes in. You can do lots of different ways of doing this. And then I'm just going to colour in a little bit of his nose. A uh, little tiny smiley mouth. Some whiskers. And then some little cat ears. There. So we've got two very different looking cats. But they're cute, aren't they? So, hope you've enjoyed. Um, see you tomorrow for assembly. Bye.